Hey guys, how's it going? So back for another day in Big Dost and uh, today we've got a few beers. So we've gone for this stuff here. That's the name of it up there. Don't ask me to pronounce it because I tried to earlier and I've made myself look stupid. But uh, what do you reckon so far, Carl? Good beer? Yeah, it's quite nice. What do you reckon, Tam? What you got? You got a Heineken, haven't you? Eh? Uh, yeah. Good old Heineken. And uh, I've got this uh, same beer as well. So uh, let's have a try. So refreshing, tell you what, I like that. I tried to get Perwa, Perwa? I, can't, I can't pronounce yeah. it. It's, it's like another beer um, and I didn't have any. So I've tried this and this is actually really good, this stuff, so I'm, I'm gonna buy this again. But the idea today is to go off the beaten trail and go and discover Big Dost, Big Gosht, um, it's hard to pronounce, outside of the usual tourist places. So uh, Hopefully, we'll be able to explore some pretty cool places and show you some history outside of the beat or off the beating trail and show you what it's like. So, we're going to finish our beers, get moving, and see what this place is like. So, let's go. Right, guys, so we're back in the area that we're staying in. We're actually staying in this building here. Don't ask me to pronounce it because I can't. But this is, uh, I believe, this is the Arts District. And uh, don't let the building there fool you. It was quite cheap to rent. I'll put the price down below. And uh, have I got the key? No, Carl's got the key. <laughs> so we fob in, and uh, what we'll do is we'll give you a little apartment tour, and I guess a building tour, whilst we're here as well, so you can see what staying in Poland is like. Good luck, So it's uh, quite, quite secure. <laughs> Here we go. So let's get the light on and show you around the place we're staying at. So this is the Airbnb we've rented from a lovely lady named Daria. I believe her name is. Very, very lovely woman. Highly recommend. She's been very helpful. It was quite difficult to get in because we didn't understand the checking instructions. Maybe that was our fault. But uh, yeah, let's give you a little tour. So. This is like a pull-out bed that Kyle sleeps on, and uh, for someone as tall as him, it's quite uh What do you reckon? Did your feet dangle off the edge there, Kyle? Nothing over there. There you go. That's all right then. <laughs> and then you've got a nice little kitchen area. Good TV. We don't understand Polish, unfortunately, so we can't watch much telly. I think there's Netflix though. Let's try and get a bit of a uh, light in here for you guys. You know, I have no idea what that light is. I can't show you the bathroom because it's currently in use, but I'll show you that shortly. Got some storage areas and got a little area as well where uh, I do my YouTube business just here. So that's where I'm vlogging from. Uh, not a terrible view out the window. Nice little uh, street. So. Can't show you the toilet in this vlog, <laughs> if you're curious, the bathroom. I'll try and show you later. Um, but it's, Tom's uh, sprucing herself up for our little journey. So we shall be doing that. But before we leave, I'll, I'll try and show you. But anyway, that's, this is where we're staying. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig a bit deeper out of the tourist area. And we're gonna show you what this place is like. All right, Tom's looking beautiful. So uh, I shall show you the toilet so you can see. Let's toilet come back through. So, uh, try to turn the camera. I don't know how to turn this on, but it's got some pretty cool lighting. Let me, there you go. Look at that. How cool is that? And then you've got the bathroom here. A good shower. Hello. <laughs> I literally always do that, don't I? A good shower space. You've got two choices, you've got this one, or this one. And then you've got a little washing machine in there as well. So, if you're curious, that was the bathroom. So, yeah, <laughs> we'll go off in there and go and explore now. So, let's do it. All right, so what was intended to be a, a short little stopover and a quick rest, ended up being like an hour. We were all exhausted, so uh, me and Kyle, Ended up falling asleep for like an hour each, didn't we, mate? Yeah. And uh, Tommy was kind of there, like just waiting around patiently. And uh, 
her patience has paid off <clears throat> because uh, we found this cool burger joint and uh, we're gonna go and check it out and see what Polish burgers are like because we've heard good things and uh, <laughs> you know you're being guided by Tammy when you're doing uh, loop the loop circles <laughs> but yeah that's where we're staying that building just there and the university is just over there so if we get time and we have enough daylight we'll go and look at it but uh yeah so far so good with big dust uh big big gushed big gushed so far so good with big gushed it's a very nice city um some of the places are actually quite expensive though i will say that so we was doing our research for restaurants that's what i also spent quite a bit of time doing earlier i like to research restaurants to find a good price now as part of this channel i do try and give you tips on how to save money one of my tips is to always do thorough research the time you spend researching the cost of things is going to be well worth it in the savings you're going to make so i found this really nice traditional restaurant but then when i actually started tallying up the prices it was rather expensive and so i did a bit more research and found a burger place now burgers aren't traditionally polish i guess but uh, we've had a traditional meal today if you check our previous video we had uh, the uh, the milk bar meal and so we kind of uh, have already tried traditional Polish food anyway so a burger will be uh, a good uh, a good compromise which allows us to uh, continue going off the beaten trail but try some decent food as well so let's go see what it's like so you'll see a lot of these places as well I think it's called Jabka and it's uh, essentially a 24 well I don't know if it's 24 hours but it's uh, no it's not 24 hours uh, it's a it's open till late though but it's a late night convenience store and uh, it's where we went yesterday actually when we first arrived here uh, there was nothing really open in the area that we were staying in and so we decided to go there and we got a few bits and pieces uh, and I think we got three beers Kyle got two microwave burgers I got a traditional microwave meal which was like a cotlet um, kind of meal it's essentially like a chicken Kiev but it wasn't a chicken Kiev it was a, a cutlet but it was it was had garlic butter inside and uh, Tammy had a spaghetti carbonara we also had a bag of crisps and uh, oh. Hashem. <laughs> we also had a bag of crisps and uh, we also got a, uh, a bar of chocolate and that came up to 20 pound I'll put the conversions below um, and uh, yeah it was very nice so if you're in Poland and you're looking to save a bit of money or you need somewhere to grab some food I definitely recommend Jabka or however you pronounce it a little bit better than my Polish <laughs> um, can I get um, Jeden um, Fatsberger okay. um, extra large okay. uh, and what do you guys want? have you decided? Uh, sorry, if you already have it take it out, oh, eat it in case, eat uh -huh. here, okay drink all your buds <laughs> Big kahuna? Yes. A big kahuna, please. Big kahuna. Big kahuna. Yeah. Which one? And you're in Texas, for sure. Okay. 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 Yes, that's everything. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 134? No, okay. Your English is very good, by the way. Oh, no. Better than my Polish. That's the Polish guy. Thank you. Do you go to Hello, what do you do? England. Very difficult to speak. I like maybe Scotland. Scotland. Okay. Of 
Right, so the food's arrived guys, and uh, <laughs> wow. So this place is called Bergerstreffa, I don't know how you pronounce it. And it looks like that, it's basically like a little mini, I'll try and zoom in, looks like that. And uh, look at the size of these burgers already, look. It's mental. So uh, Carl's gone for the Texas, Tam's gone for the... Big Kahuna. The big kahuna and i've gone for the fat burger because uh i'm a fat guy so it <laughs> seems fitting doesn't it so cheers love let's have a look and see what a fat burger looks like wow look at that let's get a 360 on that bad boy that's like the size of well, not quite the size of my head but nearly let's get in there and see what it's like Last time I had a burger was in Krakow. And last time I had a Polish burger was in Krakow. And I still remember it to this day. And that was like nine months ago. So Polish burgers are very good. Oh wow. There's like double patty. Burger sauce, bacon, there's just so much going on this, it's amazing. Now one thing I really like as well is uh is Polish mayonnaise. Cheers love. So I just gotta get a look at that. Look at that. It's called mayonnaise, I'm gonna say pronounce it, and we've got some chips as well. I'm trying to eat my own hair. Mm. I read a re review saying these chips weren't very good, but that's not true. They're actually really good. And this mayonnaise is really creamy. I don't know why, but Polish mayonnaise is so much better than the mayonnaise we get in the UK. But we can get Polish mayonnaise in the UK as well. Not to tie my hair back for this job. Amazing people. So, burgers, get them done when you go to Poland, especially here if you're in a, uh... oh wow, there's a bit of pineapple in there. No. How cool is that? You love pineapple, don't you? So you'll be happy with that. So we're gonna get eating on this and then we're gonna go push further on and go and see what else there is around here. All right, burger demolished, well and truly. And uh, that was very filling. You know the annoying thing is as well, right? I was sat there, obviously struggling to eat it, thinking that I hadn't brought anywhere to anywhere to tie my hair. And then when I got out, I realised, look, I got my old air bubble. Air bubble? Air band. What are they called? Air bubbles. Air bubbles. Yeah, air bubble. That's what you, that's what Sonic breathes underwater, isn't it? <laughs> air bubble. But anyway, so we, uh, yeah, that burger was amazing. It's not a surprise to us, to be honest, because burgers in Poland, are always really good. It's like they've taken their burger game and just like upped it by a million percent compared to everyone else's. We were gonna to go to McDonald's because Tam does love a good McDonald's and to be fair, McDonald's around different parts of the world can be different to what you get in your home country. But I don't know, I wanted a home cooked burger and they're really friendly as well, the people that run the place. Um, and they spoke very good English, but of course, just because they speak English doesn't mean I'm not going to still attempt to speak Polish. I've spent ages practicing it and uh, it does always get a smile. Maybe for the wrong reasons, perhaps because I'm pronouncing things wrong. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's so, so far so good. Just having a little walk around now and just exploring some of the more residential areas of uh, Bitgoszcz and uh, getting to know what the, what the locals are like and just enjoying the atmosphere really, so we'll push on forward and see what else we can see. So as we're here, we thought we'd show you around a Jabka. You get these all over and uh, you can see what the prices are like here. Thank you. Do you your badzo? There you go, so this is in Zwati as well, by the way, I'll put basic conversion so you understand what the prices are. Look, they do fresh bakery products, look at that. Very nice. 
and this is what I was looking for earlier. Perva. I'm gonna say pronounce it Perva. That's L is actually a W, so never get picked, uh, tricked out by that one. And this stuff is really good, so I might get a few of them for the journey home later. And then you've got Wamsha, which is really nice. I love Wamsha. And uh, my personal favourite Perwa is uh, it's got honey in it, but I don't see it, see it anywhere. I've heard Lech is very good as well. And there's another one, Tiski, I think you were saying. That's quite popular where we live. I think it's pronounced Tiski, isn't it? Tiski, Tiski. I didn't actually know that, so just going to buy some face wipes. Show flash, show. Which one? Also popular where we live in the UK. We like that there as well. There it is, Tyski. This stuff is quite strong actually. You've got to, got to be strong to hack that stuff. Yeah, it gives you an idea of the prices and what you can buy. They're very useful actually, because to be honest, uh, like we need face wipes for instance. How much were they, Tam? Four, 420. So I'll put the conversion there, give you an idea. We'll find out when we get to the till. Um, iced teas, which I absolutely adore, but there's nowhere to carry them, so can't take them with us. But I'm thirsty, Tom. Can we get a drink? Look at that mango Pepsi. We don't get that at home. Yeah, we do. do we? Yeah. I've never seen that before. I guess if you look for it. <clears throat> Let's, uh, I'm going to go for the peach iced tea. So peach iced tea is 420. Zwati. And Tam, even though she's had like 500 of them, is going to go for a Miranda. It's got bits in it. Cool. Bits of Miranda. <laughs> okay. What's your score? Go ahead. Do you have I mean, we're good in ya. Yeah. Alright people, oh, there's no point in reviewing this, we get it back at home in the UK. They're very nice though if you've not had it before, Lipton's iced tea. Um, so that's what Jabka looks like, so we tend to go to Jabka if uh, we need to stock up on things like, you know, face wipes, we've just had a nice big burger so <clears throat> they did provide wipes but really for a burger that, uh, that intense you do need a uh, something a little bit more kind of moisturized to wipe your face and stuff with so i'll do as well but uh yeah again jabka i'm quite a big fan again i've apologized if i'm pronouncing that incorrectly as well but i'm a big fan of that shop very useful and uh quite well priced what, what was the price of that sam do you know Altogether. yeah what did it come to total so in total that came up to 1840s wati uh so i'll put the conversions down and that got us a drink each and some face wipes so uh to give you an idea of the price so this is where we are currently again not many tourists which is cool it means i get to use more polish uh, though i do get quite nervous because i don't know if i'm pronouncing things well but people tend to nod when i <laughs> respond so i guess i'm doing something right and there isn't that complete look of confusion but uh <clears throat> Yeah, again, like I said in my previous video, I don't understand why there's not <clears throat> there's not more tourism in Poland because for me it's probably one of the most beautiful countries in the world and the people are so so wonderful. I'm very very privileged to live in a city where we have a quite a big Polish community and I've met many good Polish people over the years, I made many good Polish friends in my time at university and uh, always had a big love for Poland. And, uh, and the places themselves. But that building there is absolutely stunning. Let me just flip the camera and zoom in so you can really see that. That, art, uh, that de de uh, architecture style, I was gonna say decor then, that architecture style is incredible. How pretty is that? So one thing I really like about life in Poland is that everything's a lot more relaxed. Everything's taken at a much more relaxed pace, which in contrast to England is uh, it's quite different actually. <laughs> well, it depends where in England, obviously. 
the north of England is a bit more relaxed, whereas towards London it's not. But generally, in most places in Poland, regardless of the city size, the, uh, the pace of things, at least in comparison to England, is a lot more relaxed and everyone takes their time and just enjoys the day. And how can you not when you've got buildings like that everywhere? How beautiful that is. The architecture here is truly stunning. Everywhere you look, there's a new building which has some sort of history and has something, you know, that it must speak for itself, you know, what it's seen and what it's been a part of. And every time I see something, for instance, like this up here, I always think to myself, what is the history of this place, you know? What, uh, what's it seen, you know? What's it witnessed over its years? Obviously, you can see decay. But in a way that proves that this, this building here has stood the test of time and uh, seen many a, a ruler, many an era, many a different type of people walk around these streets. But life in Poland for me is very, very nice. One thing that Poland doesn't really get enough recognition for is just how varied the landscape is as well. So for instance, you have beaches, you have mountains, you have cities, you have everything. There is such a varied landscape around Poland. And yet again, it's not really, you know, you hear people who like Greece is one of the best countries to visit, Italy, France, but <clears throat> you don't hear many people go, I'm going to go and visit Poland today. And you don't hear it on the top bucket list of people, but it really should be because uh, it's so much more than just a country with interesting history. Actually, it's a country with a huge variety of people, of you know, accents of culture, of food. It's a very, very big country, at least in comparison to the UK. And uh, there's so much going on here. And again, it's these little back streets here, and these little side streets, where to most it just seems boring. I'm curious as well. I can't see over this, so you'll have to tell me what is over here but to most it's just boring but to me i don't know i like getting into these parts of the sea you know it kind of feels like it's more authentic you know it's a bit more real and obviously you see rubbish and stuff but hey what countries don't have that we have that all all over in the uk you see these buildings that are decaying and stuff but in my opinion that isn't a bad thing necessarily actually it shows that the uh the country itself Although the buildings are in a state of bad repair in certain places, they must have been here for a very long time. So everywhere you look, there's raw history right in front of your eyes. And it's nice to see a country where modernism hasn't taken over too much. Of course, back in the tourist district, modernism is very much taking its place. And there's a lot of modern buildings being sprung up. But actually in these, uh, these districts here, this is more akin to, uh, what I like to experience when I go to a different country which is where uh, people are living spending their day-to-day -day lives and uh, just out of that hustle and bustle really so hopefully uh, hopefully if you ever come abroad you'll choose to come Poland and uh, speak the language and get to know the people and see these lovely buildings steeped in history and hopefully you will come off the tourist trail and uh, explore more. So I'm going to push on a bit further. We're losing daylight here, so still incredibly sunny as you can see, but we're going to make the most of what we have left and do a bit more exploration. So indeed there are two sides to every city and here we find ourselves in what is more of a, uh, a kind of, I don't want to sound harsh or anything, but I guess a more neglected area. In terms of the historical buildings, I kind of understand it's hard to upkeep and maintain a historical building, but yeah, it's sad to see that such a beautiful city, this is happening. Again, it's not a surprise because it's, it's happening in the UK as well. Our, uh, our high streets are slowly dying around us, but yeah, I think again, it's, I'm, I want to make it very clear. So in these videos, we do our best to document both sides of the coin. So not only do we want to show you the beautiful history, but actually we want to scrape past that 
and get into the meat of it and show you actually what life is like for an everyday person living in Bidgosht. Bidgosht. <laughs> I can't keep reminding myself how to pronounce it. I do apologise people. Um, and I feel that a lot of the YouTube videos try and glamorise people's cities and although it's nice to see your city painted in a positive light actually it's important to see it's painted it it's painted in its full true colours you know for instance if people were to come to my city in Peterborough and be like oh it's the most beautiful city ever look how beautiful all these old buildings are but then we're neglecting to show the bad bits I'd feel that was a bit disingenuous myself because uh, there is a lot more to our city than meets the eye but look at this variety you turn a corner and the buildings change the architecture changes so it's not all bad but anyway that is a slice of life in a small polish city this is a city i believe this is a small polish city one of the smaller polish cities shall i say and again if you're interested we came here for 40 pound from the uk came from luton airport 40 pound so try and visit it if you can it's an incredible city and the prices for food is very cheap the price of beer very very cheap £2.50 for a pint versus the almost five quid now in certain parts of our city in London a lot more than that so it's quite a nice departure to pay £2.50 for a pint and again obviously the city does have its problems but I think it's fair to say that this is a very very unique city with a lot of character so we hope you've enjoyed the little look around today we hope you've enjoyed the food a little bit of the language that I've tried to speak with people and just showing everyday life and hopefully this has inspired you to come and visit if you're not from Poland and if you are from Poland you've never been to Bydgoszcz before then hopefully you'll want to come and visit as well so thank you so much for watching we hope you guys have a great day and wow <laughs> before we sign off look at this Voda Ni nada nada je nada je si do pit pit pizza Oh it does work Oh wow A working water pump how old school is that So there you go it's got it all and a lot's going on to try and rejuvenate the place as well so they are trying their best so come and give it a go come and give it a visit Thank you so much for watching we hope you guys have a wonderful day and we shall see you in our next video from a different Polish city Oh, sorry, I guess it's the town where we're going to next. Uh, I think so, yeah. UNESCO Heritage World Site, so do check that out and we'll see you there. Take care, people.